For our next topic, we're going to talk about something called the parentheses property that occurs with these discovery times. This is something that's useful for identifying how to classify those edges. With the way that we were doing it, we didn't really talk about how you would manage that. Part of it has to do with the coloring and part of it also has to do with this property for if you wanted to prove this. So what the happens with these discovery times is for a given node like one, all of its children are within the range of those values for both their discovery time and for their finishing time. So all of the discovery times of the descendants of one are going to be bigger and all of the finishing times are going to be smaller. We can look at that for ones that actually have trees that's a little more interesting. So something like seven that has more than one child, five and six are sandwiched between it and seven and eight are also sandwiched between it. Also notice that things that are in different branches, things like 12 and 13 have no overlap. That's all that says. It's that if you're stuck within within the interval, you're a child. If you have no overlap, you are in different branches of the tree. So this helps you identify sort of properties of this tree, which can be kind of helpful. It will also help us cl classify the edges. So you have three different ways of classifying edges. There's four things here. They're really all the same. I'm in the way I realize. Sorry. <laughs> so there are four different types of edges. Tree edges, the ones that are in purple. Those are easy. Back edges that connect to an ancestor. These will be edges which connect to a vertex that is currently gray. So these are from one vertex to a gray vertex are these back edges. Forward edges are edges that look like the 13 to 11. Those are forward edges because it connected from a gray vertex to a red or black vertex, or in our case, a red, a blue vertex to a red vertex. If you do that, you're going to somewhere that is already finished. And it's important to identify the way the discovery times work there. So the forward edge, it's critical that the discovery times obey that parentheses property to differentiate them from cross edges. A cross edge are the other edges that cut across the tree. You can determine something as a descendant by using the discovery and finishing times. So there are forward edges and cross edges. They're really the same thing. It's from a gray vertex to a black vertex. So back edges are from gray to gray. Forward are from gray to black and similar for cross edges. And the top one are going to be gray to white. Notice there are only gray two things because the step one for doing anything is to color things gray. So we don't need to worry ourselves about any other type of edges. We have gray to white, gray to gray, and gray to black. Three different types. The second two have slight differentiations because of how you can explore a tree, but they are fundamentally the same thing.